Well, we want to welcome you to First Coast News at 5. We've already been talking a lot, but here are our key stories tonight. In just over a month, the Republican National Convention is for now set to land at Vistar Veterans Memorial Arena, or at least somewhere in Jacksonville. The plans are apparently still in the works and outdoor venues are also still being considered. Sheriff Mike Williams raised quite a stir yesterday when he said that uncertainty is why, in his opinion, the event cannot be held. Today, Jacksonville Mayor Lenny Curry said Williams told him that before his announcement yesterday. Nothing Sheriff Williams said yesterday was a surprise to me or anyone on my team. It's something we've been working through together. We will collaborate with all partners, health experts, law enforcement, and more to ensure that any event maintains a healthy and safe environment for citizens and guests. The mayor says meetings with the sheriff will continue to answer those concerns. And among the sheriff's concerns is manpower and how to handle the expected crowds in Jacksonville. And not just delegates and not just President Trump, but also potentially thousands of protesters. Sheriff Williams wasn't in today's press conference, but both Mayor Curry and Under Sheriff Pat Ivey said today while peaceful protesters will be protected, there will be no excuses for violence. Under Sheriff Ivey did say there have been no discussions either about bringing federal troops to the RNC. In the past days, agents from Homeland Security have been under heavy scrutiny for their response to protests in Portland, Oregon, seen on camera beating and gassing demonstrators, and in some cases, grabbing protesters and whisking them away in unmarked cars. So you might be wondering then, what is Jacksonville's plan to move ahead with such a huge event and only five weeks to pull this off? Alex Osaitis explains why the mayor is still optimistic, all new at five. Mayor Curry says that he wasn't surprised by what Sheriff Mike Williams had to say about the concerns for the RNC and that they're working on a plan, but noticeably missing from today's press conference, Sheriff Mike Williams. The mayor's COVID-19 update with numbers that make him, quote, cautiously optimistic, overshadowed by the looming convention. Questions about security and why the top law enforcement official in Jacksonville has his own concerns. Yeah, that's what, yes, I, I agree with him. Under Sheriff Pat Ivey said they've had 25% of the commitment needed for the event, which has been scaled back and shifted to different venues. Curry says organizers will reconfigure until the sheriff is on board. Provided we get uh, our sheriff and the team comfortable, uh, and comfortable to where they can say that they can do this in a safe way, we communicate that at that time and move forward. When it comes to violence in the city and whether police would be able to handle their daily duties and a major event, Curry says he's confident in JSO. Whether it relates to homicides or, or any number of other public safety issues they have to face and deal with on a daily basis uh, are doing that uh, and we'll be able to, to manage through that uh, in the event there's an event here. A Department of Justice security grant for the event worth between 33 and 35 million dollars is expected to be released in the next week or so, according to the mayor's chief of staff. Reporting, Alex Osiris, First Coast News, on your side.